I think it's time for a crop update. Post spray. Stay tuned. Well, would you look at that? 72 hours, and we are looking at some burnt fried grass. Here's the beans. This is how they look. I know everybody refers to it as a control spill, but somehow I seem to do okay bushel-wise. Of course, that's a lot of it's weather dependent. There were more woodchucks this year. I won't dwell into that like I have in past videos, um, but this is what it's turning into. I'm going to walk out here. I, I see that there, it looks like there might have been some thistle that uh, was growing here. I want to see how that does. That's usually pretty tough stuff when it comes to glyphosate, so... We're about to take a look. Ow, horsefly. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's nasty. I'm going to have to come out here with a backpack sprayer. You know, I said uh, the day I sprayed this field in particular, I said that I was going to have to come out and spray this. But, uh, you know, other than the deer hitting it, and really, I mean, the deer are hitting the center here um, in spots. But uh, I'll walk you over to the edge where... I said if I get the woodchucks under control in time, I might be able to recover some of the soybeans. And actually, to be honest with you, other than riding across it in a tractor, pulling a sprayer, I haven't even been over there myself, so I have no clue. The uh, Anybody that's ever sprayed a crop field knows that the lamb's quarter is really a wimpy, wimpy weed. I mean, that was the first to die and shrivel. And then, of course, just your basic grass. Um, growing in here but but that's dying I don't know what happened here I mean miss 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 you know and then boom we're back to beans again so I have no idea I mean I will tell you like when you see oh this bitten off here that's deer that's not woodchuck um, but I'll show you over here okay yeah it's still looking pretty bad I mean that's the thing about the chucks, man. You don't get them under control fast and early. Um, it's going to get real and ugly pretty quick. So, yeah, I mean, you can see that there's some rows coming in here, but, boy, are they weak. And some of it's just it's just sparse. It's gone. So, and, you know, this, this is an edge. This is where, you know, your chucks are going to be and whatnot. Um, even though there's nothing really growing here, I will take the backpack sprayer and spray this little strip. You know, everything you do this year's, in part at least, for next year. You don't want any of this to produce seed head, uh, even though there are millions and millions of little seeds in the dirt at all times waiting to uh, for its opportunity to uh, grow. Uh, I purposely left myself a walking alley here. I can't stand when i got to sit there and take baby steps through the beans because I feel guilty because I'm not because um, I'm stepping on them but uh, Alex Fisher uh, he asked me he says how can you run over the beans and not kill them well okay we're three days later you can see where my tire tracks were okay right in here and the beans are standing up now when I do another update say a week or two weeks or three weeks or whatever I'll show you again and I will have a hard time finding out where my tire tracks were as far as you know the beans and stuff they will stand back up um and they actually are right now i mean this is where my tire track was right in through here you know i just plowed it right over with the m and the sprayer was to follow with you know at this point in time i think i had about 300 gallons in it so i mean you're looking at you know let's just call it 2500 pounds you know so it'd be like an m which is about between my M, which is between five and 6,000 pounds, pulling a 2,500 pound tractor. So it'd be like an M pulling a C through here, you know? But uh, this is where, this is, to you, Alex Fisher, uh, not even sure if you'll see this video. You're usually a pretty good supporter, but if you don't, you don't. It's still getting posted. Hate to break it to you, buddy. But uh, here's another spot, you know, the tire went through. I mean, it's just hard to tell. Some of these beans are looking really good. I did pound the potash to it. I went about 150 pounds to the acre. And uh, it wasn't super low when I did the soil testing. 
but I just know how beans are. I've planted them enough over the years to know that potassium is just absolutely critical for uh, pod development and bean growth. So there you have it. This is the video field. This is the field that, uh, you know, you saw on video me planting with the M and spraying with, with the M. So it's worked out quite nice. This field's just right. I'd like to get somebody to actually hold a camera one day, but they're not easy to come by. So anyways, this is it. This is the update. I'm, I'm pretty satisfied 72 hours in. I'm not seeing a lot of green except for beans. Thanks for viewing.